And welcome to Earth 2, where superheroes exist and comic book talk is the norm. I'm your host, Vito D. Mo Crosby. Welcome to the planet. Welcome to the planet. Alright guys, well, it's, it's finally over. Like, it seemed like it, it took, took forever it, to get really here. It really did. I feel like it did. I don't know about you. I feel like it took, like, so long. Was it supposed to be nine issues the whole time? Yeah, it was. It was. It was announced. It, I don't think it was announced to be nine. I think during the course of it, then they said nine. I don't. No, yeah, no. I think. I think during the course of it, they just like with um the Marvel one, they did. Yeah. We added a tenth, so I think they added. So if you guys don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about DK, uh, Dark Knight three, uh, Master, Master Race. Race. <laughs> You know, I always think about what I said. <laughs> I know. Because I feel like you, the new comic book day video, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it was like yeah. the master race. What the hell? Yeah. I think I should cut that in. It's written by Frank Miller. Uh, and also Brian Azzarello. <laughs> art by, you know, Andy Kubert. And I think at a couple of times, Frank Miller also draws. He draws, yeah. Given that the art sometimes is very, very <laughs> different. Like, I, so, I wonder who did the Wonder Woman. You think he did the Wonder Woman? Yeah, that's his Wonder Woman. Okay, that's all right. All right. So most of the female characters are his then, because they almost all look. It seems like the the longer the book took, the more he started doing it, and it's it's like, Andy Kubrick was like, I give up. I don't want to work with this guy anymore because. <laughs> It, like in the later issues, it was him. I don't know if they had split it originally to be oh, like okay. that, where it's Andy Kubert in the first one, in and the first half, and then it's, it's, it's Frank the Miller half. takes over. But Jesus, I mean, I, 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 all right, I, I think Frank Miller is a really great writer. Yes, he's a very good writer. Um, I think he might be a little overambitious I, sometimes. Well, I think his his older stuff is a lot better. Like his Daredevil stuff oh, is a man. lot better. I uh, haven't read any Daredevil since Frank Miller. Okay, and and you know it's just the original, stuff, yeah, the original Dark right? Knight. Yeah, I, I mean Year Returns. One is like really oh, Year One. Did, oh, yeah. the, wasn't Year One like inspiration for the actual um for the um what's his name movies Christian Bale movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of it. Uh, so yeah, you know what? Let's get let's get back to the Master Race. All right, for whatever it is, for whatever your reasons are, if you read it, you know, we're here to book report it for you. Let's start with Vito. What did you think about it? It started off... It started off good. It started off, I was like, okay, I wonder where this is going to go. So I picked it up, of course, and I read the first two. The first two were well put together. Fantastic. Uh, minus the second one. The second one got a little crazy and a little weird at one point. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it included having, what's her name, in a cheetah outfit. So, started off well. I liked it. Uh, there was a couple like plot twists in there. Uh, it, I liked it, but then as as it went on, I was like, "Where the hell is this story going?" Right. Um, I like that S- Superman had to pretty much be the ultimate hero at the end. Oh man, I love that. You know me. And I, yeah, and it turned yeah. into it turned into like it went. It started off as a, like Dark a Trojan. Knight, yeah, it started off as a the Man of Steel or Boy yeah, Scout. It started yeah, it started off as a Batman book and it ended as a Superman book. And I don't know if that was supposed to be intentional. I don't know if, if he like you know he wrote himself into a hole. Was like you know what? Let me just shove this in because the way everything was all expressed through. Through his writing, I was a bit, uh, and the little mini stories that's inside I, of each I, I comic. Like those though, yeah, they were nice. Those were those were. They really had nothing good. to do with the story, but yeah, until later on, you're like, okay, somehow these are all connected. And, and then what scared me was that once I started seeing that because he never established that. That all right? So the book, the original storyline, takes place, and you can read the mini book after. Mm-hmm. Right, because it had nothing to do with the main story. Yeah. As soon as it started, like in issue se- issue six and issue seven, seven yeah, six, where seven. they started incorporating that the, the the little small books are somehow tied to it. 
I got scared when I was reading the the, the last one, which you nine, because I wonder. I was like, okay, once I got to it, I was like, okay, I'm supposed to read this right now. Am I not supposed to read? Am I supposed to wait until later on? Uh, does this take place after, during? I don't want to spoil anything and then read the small mini book if I have to read that. And then with my luck, it already tells you how it ends. Yes, yes. So I don't know how it is for like the digital version where it comes. Yeah, we we still get the we still get the um. But does it come afterwards? Yeah, like as soon as the main page is done and you get the little art, the little. Oh, know, okay. Well, so, yeah, so pretty much like how I think it's the same how yours should be. No, mine's is uh my it's literally smack dab in the middle of it. Oh no, mine was at the end of it. No, it's smack in the middle of it. Oh yeah. So what did you do? How'd you do it? So you see right here in the <laughs> yeah, middle. Yeah, this, this little mini Jane. Yeah. This this one particular is very scary because this is like, yeah. You're wondering does it does this come after? Does it come before? Yeah. And anyone can't see this is what I'm talking about. So when you get to the middle, you get this. it has a little small mini book in here, right? And then it goes back, and, and then it continues to, to where the story left off. Yeah. So that's where, cause that yeah I can see now that one is very confusing because I don't know I think I'd have waited. Did you wait? Yeah, I finished the whole story first uh, and then went back to it. And I was like, okay, thank kinda, God I did it, it like that. It kind of does tie in, though, because if you, if you read that mini and then you go back to read the, the story, it kind of does in a little way tell you that Lara, because, you know, I don't know if I want, I don't know if we want to do go into spoiler territory, but Lara, all right, so we're going to do spoilers. So if you haven't read it, then I'm sorry. Just go out and get <laughs> it. Or stop, stop right here. Stop right here. Go get it and come back because I'm going to spoil it for you. Cause it kind of, because in that one it shows you Lara and Claire, uh, what's her name Claire working together. Uh, in the last one in yeah. book nine. No, 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 in in the mini, because the cover is two of them working together. Which one? The in mini book. book. No, that's what I'm saying in what. In, in, what? in number nine. In, in number nine. The ninth, yeah, the ninth book. I'm sorry. Yeah, in the ninth mm -hmm. book, that cover shows you both of them kind of working together, so it kind of hints to a possible future. Yeah, at, at, at the end, well, yeah, what I'm talking about, it, 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 they show, like, Clark at the end. Yeah, so it's like... So this is, like, after the main story. Yeah, line. so to me, that's why I would have waited. But anyways... But yeah, but, like, like on issue issue 8 and issue 7, as I was reading it, I was like, okay, these are kind of intertwined, and I can actually read this at, before I finish reading and continue, mm -hmm. like, the little story. And that's where I was... When it came down to book nine, it was just okay. What do I do from here? <laughs> I don't want to read this one. And then yeah, get to the, yeah. I mean, that I was can see that. a bit confusing, but I can see that. But yeah, um, I liked it. I liked it, and it's funny you said it became a Superman story at the end of the day. But I liked that part about it, to be honest. Um, what I didn't like was in the beginning. It, it it's, I mean, we all know Batman, the whole prep time thing. Yeah, and I'm like. So, did he always have this those contingency plans in place for when Superman, you know, decided to go crazy? Was that something that was always going to be in place? Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's um it's continuity that he always carries a little small piece of okay. in his utility belt. All right, so because that was not a small piece, that was like a whole synthetic kryptonite rain that came down. It was it was it was crazy. It, it, it's changed. There's different forms. Uh, I know that there's this one writer. That had a kryptonite gun because he was tied up, and as he was fighting against Superman, he started chewing and he spit it. Wow! In his face. Because even <laughs> even at one point, Claire, you know, has a little piece of kryptonite where she fires, you know, from her. That was pretty cool. Shot and he melted his face. Yes. You know what I thought she missed? It looked like she was missing. It. it... My thing is, how did it get? It, like, what happened? Did it get into his eye? Did she? Did it just I because it was going by his face? I don't know, but that was that was something new and something different because even when it goes back to when Superman was using his X-ray, even the bone had deformed. Yes, everything. So I was like, like so, like, well, maybe it's because they've been in you know Candor for so long that that's kryptonite effect. That was the other. Uh, you have an army of Kryptonians. I mean, granted, they're not. Warriors in any aspect. Yeah, they, I think but they got their butts. Scientists. Yeah, they they got their butts handed. I mean, well, because after Kryptonite rain, they can't really do much. But then, what I also like, well, like is, if they're all scientists, then you would understand. Oh, this is making me weak. They should have left. They, yeah, they should have left right then and there. I mean, I think Pride. Um, pride for from the main villain. Yeah, from the main villain because he was like even when 
like he was such a villain. I loved I loved him. He was such a villain that even when they had lost and some of the Kryptonians were like, Look, man, I don't even want to follow you anymore. Like when they were carrying him off, he shot at that. And he destroyed at, at least thirty of them. I thought yeah. that was like kind of crazy. But what I also liked what I mostly liked was Wonder Woman and her powers, like you saw how vicious she could get. While taking care of a kid. You know, with a kid <laughs> on her back, dude. Like that to me is still like the most crazy thing I've ever seen. And we finally I laughed at that part because uh <laughs> Laura was like, What, you don't trust me? And then no. the next panel you see her fighting with the baby. Yeah, like she I was mean, like, Let me hold on to the baby. No, bro, I don't trust you. <laughs> like and then the second part, what I liked the most about it was finally Batman, in a sense, conceded to Superman, even though he wasn't fighting against him. He conceded. He was like, oh my gosh. Like, Batman was shocked at what Superman was doing. Yeah, that he was holding back. He realized that he was holding back this whole time. And I was like, no, no, duh. Like, cause if, like, because again, I think that's the thing. You are out in a desert, there are no buildings, and you're fighting against Kryptonians. You have to go full power. You have to go full strength. Like, you know... But we also got pacifist Clark, um, pa- pacifist Kal-El in the beginning of it, where he didn't want to fight back, or I'm not gonna yeah, fight. Yeah, so he just blocked the shot. Yeah, then he became. I really liked uh, how Carrie Kelly's uh, character pretty much developed, and she became her own thing at the end. Yes. But she was like, "Well, we might as well, if we're gonna go out, we might as well go out bleeding." Yeah. Right. She, she, like, she's. And she's, I liked how Bruce acknowledged that at the end. He was like, "Dude, she's so young." There's so much I can learn from her. Yes, at this point in his career, like, and I get that he's, you know, well, yeah, the game didn't change or whatever, right? Yeah. <laughs> and that's why he was like, okay, I can learn from her. But one, a couple things that annoyed me, okay. right? All right, was like the text messages back then. I know they're trying to like simulate the the talking that the mutant gangs had amongst themselves, but that was how they talked amongst themselves, not random people on the street would talk. Or maybe that's just Frank Miller's crazy way of. Being like, well, this is how kids talk nowadays, right? Right, because it, it, you're right. It did seem kind of like out of place. Yeah, with the text messages it, back and forth. I get it. Very it, out of place. Yeah, if they would have done it like one or two times. And then but, that would it be went, it. but it, it seemed went, like every that, issue, yeah. he had to like force yeah. that in there. Then, you know, um, it reminded me of that angry grandpa that's like mad at the kids for having their own thing. Oh, oh, oh. Um, the commissioner, though, she had um, a lot to do sometimes. The, yeah, it seemed like she was just there at one point. Like she yeah, wasn't at one commissioner point, yeah, at one point she just seemed like she was just there. D- didn't she have her own little mini mini book where Batman saved her? Was that at the end of number of nine? Or that was at the end of eight. I oh, and it, yeah, yeah. Where oh, she, well, no, no, nine. Uh, Flash saved the uh the, the arrow or the knife or whatever coming towards her. Mm-hmm. But in in eight she had the the fight with uh, Bruno, which is Joker's girlfriend. Yes, we get the Joker's and with then, the swastika yeah. nipples. <laughs> Yeah, so she had a little something to do later on. But yeah, it oh, and what you know what I did like again, because I'm I'm gonna point out what I liked. What I did like again was when they brought in they kind of sort of brought the Justice League back. Yeah. Frank Miller brought the Justice League back in a way, but they didn't fight any they didn't they didn't fight except they it was all, Green Lantern. Well, yeah, Green Lantern was weird because his hand got chopped off, so yes. he can't use the ring. So he's mentally connected with the ring, but it's still connected to his hand. To his hand, which is just a floating hand, which he that ha- doesn't make sense because <laughs> his hand would rot after so many years, right? But maybe it's a thing where the ring is protecting it. Like you know how he can go into space without like anything because the ring has that aura well, around it. Why don't you just take the ring and put it on your other hand? Or why doesn't? Why doesn't the ring, you know, because he can project, like, you know, yeah, he can, yeah, he can have like a, like a, what's it called, uh, like a fake connector, connecting tissue. He could project that and yeah, connect his say, yeah. hand to his, uh, his wrist. To his, that was kind of annoying just to see that. Fl- like, you would see him in action, but it's just a floating, you see a floating hand. It could, and then, yeah, it confused me because they were like, what's that? Right? And you just see a green light. And I was like, okay, somebody's shooting out crippled hand. And then you realize it's just it, the hand <laughs> with. With, with, with the with the ring on it, he had his little side story where he had to go look for it. I thought that was kind of cute. Yeah, the, were those Thanagarians? Those had to be right. Hmm. The the guy and the girl with the wing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Hulk, Hulk oh, Man and Hulk. Oh yeah, that's Frank Miller's version. Yeah, they look kind of weird. 
It's yeah, art. it's his art style. His art, his, his art it got a little weird sometimes, but I like the Wonder Woman. It's, <laughs> it's been weird for the past couple of years. Um, no, but seriously, uh, so there, there were some things obviously we didn't like, like Vito didn't like. Um, um, yeah, they did. It seemed like he was trying to him, him and his relationship with Carrie Kelly. Ugh. At one point, it seemed like you know they were like. It, it just it, it, it looked so weird. Like, it, like they had both were crushing on each other, and he's like forty years older than this chick. But you have to uh, uh, admit that he has. She's still like a teenager. Age. He has the age, so he's probably like what? That like, don't matter. <laughs> just because you look young, like early Bruce. Yeah, yeah, yeah his mentality. Yeah, he like, he like, like yeah. After the whole Lazarus Pit thing, he didn't yeah. go from being an eighty year old man. He looked like he's in his what thirties, twenties, twenties, thirties. He looks mad young. Yeah, so that's what fifty years taken off. Yeah. But then, you and know, she's she still looks, a little yeah, girl because she's she, still in high school. Yeah, and she looks at him, and he looks at her, and, and I, I swear they draw themselves together, like with his head coming close to her, and he, it was just kind of weird. It threw me off. Um, I didn't him like and Bruce Tim need to stay away from. No, that seriously, one. like Bruce Tim needs to stay away from like drawing back, you know, bad girl like that. Mm-hmm. That kind of relationship is weird. It's always this weird because it's like a father daughter thing. It's it's very kind of gross. Um, I didn't like Superman's um mech suit. It just looked weird. He looked like an Iron Man. Yeah, Iron it Superman. it did look like an Iron Man Superman. Like, his face and the S embedded. I'm like, like if you're making this out of like how out of, yeah he's making this at the moment. Yeah, how do you have time to do to all of that? Like, on it. It's crazy. <laughs> and he barely even did anything with it. Like you barely saw the suit in action. Like he he stood there and then the next the next the next um so he didn't even use it to his advantage. He didn't even fight with yeah. that suit when, I mean well, all he did literally was just stand there till the rain was over. Finished and then he yeah, and then he realized that, you know, oh well he took it off and then that's when he that's when what's his name? Um shot Batman. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And then he had to go save Batman. I, well, I didn't think he was gonna do it. I th- I thought, you know, that was kind of mor- uh, morally like unacceptable with Superman, but he still went went on with it. I like that. I really did enjoy that Superman really saved the day. Like you got to see Superman's full strength. This was almost like Superman versus the Elite type thing. Um, there was that, and then his daughter had a change of heart at the end of it. Yeah, it seemed too cliche. Yeah, but she kind of wanted to learn, so I I'll give her a pass for that. She was still a dick. She didn't want to learn until like later on. Yeah. She... I mean, but she was like, <clears throat> she was having like a crisis of conscience because when, um, what's his name was like, so you're not with me anymore. And she, she didn't like, really answer. She didn't answer. And but she knew it was time to fight for them. She really didn't answer neither. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but that's the thing. She didn't say yes or no. She just, uh, I don't know. She really. kind of backed off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you trying to kill my dad for real. I don't know anymore. <laughs> you, now you want to kill my, my brother because of your son's face? Like, yeah. Forget that. Like, uh, yeah, it was kind of so, dumb. All in all, uh, I still think that the first story is the best one. Second one was too weird, and this one was just kind of fell flat at the end. Yeah, this one kind of it kind of went everywhere for me. I mean, the first the first story obviously was the best, and then yeah, like at one the point, the second the second kind of you know I kind of kept it, it stayed gets its place, but this one just kind of like started off good, and then it went down, and then. It was just all over the place, but yes. I, I mean, the ending kind of closed it up. And you can tell anyway. that they were trying to like rush through it, and they're just trying to get it, just trying to get it, over, get it with. over with. Yeah. Um, I also think that the fact that they made us wait super long between each each um book was kind of like kind of dumb. Well, at least this at least this wait isn't as long as you know <laughs> Dark Knight too. Well, no. Return. Uh, All Star Batman. Really? It's still not finished, and that came out like. Five years ago. No, it came out like more. It came out that thing came out like in two thousand seven. I think. I'd be done. I'd be done. In ten years. I'd be done. They haven't finished it. You but you're still picking it up, right? You still win on it? Well Yeah. <laughs> of course. Because it's, it's it's Frank Miller and Jim Lee. Okay, well good luck. <laughs> yeah, around the, there's a lot of stuff that happened around that time. But yeah, all in all, um just thought it was okay. I mean if you're a fan of the Dark Knight, um you're yeah. a fan of Frank Miller. Pick it up. If you, yeah, if you like Frank Miller, then this is right up your alley. If it's something where you were going back and forth and thinking about it, well, just watch this and you, you know, can make your own decision. Yeah, yeah, get your opinion after that. But I, I wouldn't 
necessarily say you definitely have to pick it up. I, I read it because I wanted to see what this story was going to do. And once you start, it's kind of like, oh, I've already started. Right? I just got to finish it now. Yeah. Yeah. And especially for the fact that we're going to talk about it. So I was like, yeah, let me just do it. So if you read it, leave a comment know. down below. Let us know what you thought about it. If you didn't, then um, just thank us. Right? <laughs> Uh, if you are going to pick it up, well, thank us too, because if you want to pick it up, man, if you, if you have to have to pick it up, then go for it. But yeah, if you're not going to thank us. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, like, like, and subscribe. If you haven't already check us out on our social media. Yes. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All one word. Face, uh, <laughs> Earth Two Comic Cast. Yeah, man. that's with the number two. It's number two. Check out our podcast. Check out the podcast. Uh, SoundCloud.com under the same name, Earth Two Comic Cast. So, for Mo Crosby and VOD, it's been you know, go for your lawn boxes. <laughs>